Hello, everyone, and welcome to our performance tonight. My name is Erica Fulmich, we all met, <laughs> uh, and I am the program coordinator at the University of Virginia Conservatory of Performing Arts. Uh, and with 2021, in, uh, with the end of 2021 insight, I'm happy to say that we're in 2022, we're actually entering our 110th year as an arts education uh, institution. And so thanks for joining us today and being a part of this more than centuries old uh, tradition of gathering and performing with one another. Uh, but before we start our performance, I'd like to first begin by acknowledging the land that we have the privilege to dance and to sing and to make music on. Uh, most of our staff in the University of Regina are situated on the territories of the Nahiwak, Anishinaabek, uh, Dakota, Lakota, and Nakota, and this is the homeland of the Métis Michif Nation. Uh, the University of Regina is on Treaty 4 lands, but we have a presence in Treaty 6. And the wonderful thing about live streaming tonight is we do have guests joining us on the Zoom call, so I don't know, we can wave to the camera at the back, acknowledge that all those that are joining us remotely. And if you, if you would like in the chat, just let me know where you're joining us from. I'd like to know kind of how far we're reaching out uh, with our stream tonight. Uh, and so I hope uh, that through your family's participation in our programs this fall, you've come to know firsthand how special learning through the arts is and how participation in performing arts programs like this are a great pathway to, to learning and positive growth development. Uh, and especially with these past two years, uh, I know we've experienced so much uh, disruption to what we consider normal. Uh, and I'm delighted to see everyone in person. It was so magical just uh, take, taking part in the dress and tech rehearsals and getting to see uh, our students back together again. Um, however, we recognize at this time that we know we can't always meet the needs of everybody in our programming. Uh, it, there's a huge financial burden associated with taking programs like this. Um, and so I'm happy to announce that the conservatory has started an education outreach fund and we're looking for uh, donors and donations and our, the, fund, the purpose of the fund is to provide scholarships to students to take our programming in addition to uh, give our, an opportunity for instructors to go out into the community to areas that uh, are seeking arts education the most. So if you're interested in donating, you can go to the conservatory homepage uh, and look for our donation button, which will direct you to giving.uregina.ca slash conservatory. And any donations you make will qualify uh, for a 2021 tax receipt. Um, and so we hope through your generosity and the generosity of those around us, we can make the difference in the lives of some uh, of kids in our community. Uh, and just a couple of pieces of housekeeping. So for families that have joined us tonight, um, if you could head on to CCE Community, there's a survey link uh, that will let us know how we've done this term. If you could spend seven minutes to fill it out, we would very much appreciate it. And I just wanted to remind, remind you that classes continue in January, and we're happy that many of your, your children will be returning with us again. Uh, our website is updated if you're uh, interested in joining us again. Uh, and I just wanted to highlight one special partnership uh, camp that we have coming up in our winter and spring session with 91.3 FM CJTR Regina Community Radio. For ages 11 to 14, we're offering a podcasting and radio play camp. Uh, so the, it'll be all done remotely, but then the broad, final broadcast will go on air on 91.3 FM after the camp. So it's a great opportunity uh, for any budding broadcasters or anyone if you have children interested in um, just recording and podcasting and that sort of thing. All right, but you didn't come here to hear me. You came here to see them. And I'm so very excited uh, to present. I, I guess uh, you're, you have some lines you want to say. But yeah, yeah. So you said, well, Jim will present it for us. But thank you so much for being here tonight and I hope you enjoy the show. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. My name is Chip. Um, I see some familiar eyes above this. I'm sure there's lots of new eyes that I've never seen before. I'm going to try and keep this short um, so we can get on with the performance of these, these crazy up and coming performers. Um, the last three months have been a whirlwind um, for me, I'm sure, but you guys have probably heard this is it and Moana to no end. Um, 
I'm super proud of what these guys, have, what, they've, what they've accomplished in the last three months. Teamwork, dedication, stage etiquette, costume changes, lines, commitment, um, all these important concepts that are going to carry through for the rest of their lives. Um, vocal technique, I, my challenges as a teacher, or as an instructor, have been to make sure that they're doing the right thing. Um, so things like a vocal technique, where, where is the problem? Uh, Senior Glee, where is the tip of your tongue when you're singing? Proving the pudding. They, they listen. They absorb all this stuff like a sponge. And when they come in and wow me and Erica, and they're going to wow you tonight, with what they've learned um, in such a short period of time and choreography. And I set my expectations high when they meet that. That makes me super excited because then they're ready to go to the next level. So everybody who's coming back and for all the people that are coming into the conservatory, the, the program, it's a great place. Um, and the other thing that I want to say real quick is the word can't is not in my vocabulary. So I never tell somebody they can't do something. I can't, I may not be able to speak Mandarin Chinese right now, but it doesn't mean I can't do it. Just like this group, they can sing, they can dance, and they can act. And I'm super proud of what they've been able to accomplish. So, uh, Senior Glee, stand by and places, please. Thank you! They also learn stage etiquette. And now, without further ado, please welcome the cast of Senior Glee Fall 2021. Thank you.
Ben Schindler.